What is up guys? It's your boy Rick spamming Super Cacus and today we have an absolutely awesome Hunter build to showcase. Frankly, this is the Solar 3.0 Hunter build I find myself using most often during this season, Season of the Haunted for Destiny 2. And quite frankly, it's one of the best general purpose PvE builds in the entire game. So let's get into it. So, this build is built around the Blade Barrage Super. This has gotten significantly more powerful this season, especially in combination with the knock em down aspect. This is going to improve the power of all of your different solar supers, specifically with Blade Barrage, it's going to make it launch more projectiles. So the purpose of this build is to be spamming as many knock em down Blade Barrages as we can. So, to accomplish that, going out of the subclass for a bit, a lot of people are actually going to be using the Star Eater Scales. This is going to provide another damage increase to Blade Brush if you collect a bunch of orbs of power, and certainly, this is the combination you want if you're doing something like a raid. But quite frankly, this season, a lot of what I've just kind of found myself doing is Nightmare Containments, the weekly story mission, even the new dungeon. And I think for those type of activities, except for maybe the final boss fight for the new dungeon, I kind of like, instead of the Star Eater Scales, the Shards of Galanor. So, this has the intrinsic perk Sharp Edges. Hits and kills with Blade Barrage will return super energy after the super ends. The thing is guys, with knock em down giving you more projectiles, sharp edges is incredibly easy to trigger and you will almost always get the maximum amount of super back which is 50% of your super returned instantaneously. And that's the clip you saw at the beginning of the video. The time between where I use my first blade barrage and I get the other one back was 25 seconds and quite frankly I could have done better than that. So you are being able to spam this incredible incredibly powerful, you know, more powerful than ever before really, super, really, really often. But let's go over the rest of the build. Now our second aspect is going to be on your mark, frankly just to get those three fragment slots, and then importantly, our melee is going to be knife trick, so it will scorch targets it hits, and then we're also using gambler's dodge in order to dodge near enemies to get our knife trick back. And the reason for this is that second line of text on knock em down. While Radiant final blows with your equipped throwing knife fully refund your melee energy. So we simply use uh, the Ember of Torches fragment where powered melee attacks against combatants make you and nearby allies Radiant. And as you can see from the background gameplay, this combination means that you can throw knife trick after knife trick after knife trick and pretty much instantaneously get it back and provide essentially infinite knife tricks, infinite powered melees. Now, sometimes that does actually go away, just for whatever reason it doesn't work and it doesn't refund it, which is why we do have the gambler's dodge, so we can simply uh, perform one dodge and get our knife back. Now, why are we so obsessed with throwing these knives? Well, as you can see right here, we have double hands-on, gain bonus super energy, on melee kills. So we're literally yeeting out infinitely recharging knives and getting huge chunks of super every single time we do so. Obviously, this is going to help massively in again spamming those blade barrages like you wouldn't believe. And because again, this is already a built in synergy with knock em down, this is something we absolutely want to take advantage of. But moving on from there, let's take a look at the other fragments here. We do have Ember of Beams. Uh, your solar super projectiles have stronger target acquisition, plus 10 intellect, makes a lot of sense. Uh, Ember of Singeing, so your class ability recharges faster when you scorch targets. Again, we're getting so much scorch from our melee, this is great. Um, Ember of Torches again. Ember of Wonder, rapidly defeating uh, multiple targets with solar ignitions, creates an orb of power. Basically, we were using this for the plus 10 resilience. And then Ember of of searing, defeating scorched targets, grants melee energy, perfect combo with, you know, knife trick and everything else we have going on here. Then moving on to the weaponry, our exotic is the bad juju. So the string of curses perk 
is basically going to make this thing have Thresh on steroids, um, increasing uh, the damage after getting a kill and providing a huge amount of super energy. You can get your super back, especially when it's half charged instantly because of shards of Galanor, just with this thing by killing a few red bars really darn fast. It also has a catalyst that extends the duration of String of Curses. Then we've got a great explosive personality here, just a really rock solid uh, solar grenade launcher from the previous season. Season. And then we have the uh, Hezen Vengeance, again, just a rock solid solar rocket launcher. Uh, these are really whatever you want, just two good solar weapons. We do have a few solar weapon synergies here that we'll go over in a sec. So then we do, I want to point out, have an elemental light to make some elemental wells from your super. This is really like the place this is meant to be. Like if you're going to run this, it only costs one. And on this build, it will absolutely come up quite a bit. Uh, then moving on from there, we are running Font of Might. So picking up those solar elemental wells will increase the damage of your grenade launcher and rocket launcher as long as they're solar or whatever solar weapons you want to be using. After that, importantly, I am using a powerful friends to give me that plus 20 mobility. I really want 100 mobility so that Gambler's Dodge is charged as often as possible to get my melee back, but also because I'm using the absolutely broken classy restoration. Activating your solar class abilities grants you restoration. So you dodge, you get like eight seconds of a ton of healing. Great for survivability. I also was able to fit in a utility kickstart, which you definitely want as well. Just the more often you can dodge, the more often you get this healing ability, Great for your survivability. And then lastly, we do just have an elemental armaments here to produce some more uh, wells. Frankly, because uh, this was arc, it should be solar and then I should be using an explosive well maker if I'm using these two things, but I digress, either one will work. And so the result of all of this is just a fantastic general purpose build. If you're going all in on damage with something like the Star Eaters, if you're doing something like a Nightmare Containment, you're literally waiting until the final boss because you're afraid to use your super and then have to go and get all the orbs of power all over again, all this stuff. With this build, you're literally spamming your super as often as possible. Anytime you see a mini boss, a yellow bar, a group of enemies, yeet out that super and you'll have it back in just a matter of seconds. Like by the next wave in the Nightmare Containment, you'll have your full super back. So you're using it so much more often. Not to mention we're using bad juju just because it fits together with this build very well. But if you're okay with simply relying on knife trick plus hands on to get your super energy back, you can use whatever weapons you want. Throw on a tractor cannon, blinding grenades, uh, be very like crowd control focused, utility focused, and then you get your damage output from your super and abilities and so on. So that's a very powerful direction you can take this build in as well. But definitely something worth trying out if you gotta sit there in nightmare containment you know farming red weapons for three hours hey might as well spam your super 300 times in that period as well guys i hope you enjoyed the video found this informative and if you did please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video if you guys want to see more destiny 2 content similar to this don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button if you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity the best way is to follow me on twitter at rick Kakis. that is linked in the description down below again i hope you enjoyed the video and as always have a good day